Today I'll be showing you how to fix any Apple ID sign-in issues on macOS Catalina and below. This should also work for those on Big Sur, Sonoma, Monterey, and Ventura, uh, but they're not tested on my end, so uh, I can only guarantee this does work on Catalina. Uh, the problem that I've been having was is that I couldn't sign in to the music application, the Apple TV app, and also the Apple Podcast app. What would happen is that it would tell me I was signed in, but when I was trying to get like the album artwork and all that updated, it said I wasn't signed in. So I knew that there was something going on in the user database uh, within my file system, so I'd have to reset the uh, Apple ID credentials stored on my Mac. So that's a little bit of a gist of what's going on. So this is a very simple tutorial. You just want to follow this video. These commands will be in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out. I would enter them all in one at a time. They won't go through, at least not properly, if you try to just copy and paste them in batch. So you're going to want to just do them individually. So once again, let me just show you here on the music application. If I did click on this account button, right now I'm not going to click it because my ID and all the information is going to be there. But before there was no, my name wasn't there, my Apple ID wasn't there either. So it was kind of just grayed out and blank. This video attempts to fix that, and in my case, it actually did. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, so let's get started. You're going to want to open up the terminal application on your Mac. You can simply do that by going into the Spotlight Search, searching up Terminal, and opening that up. Just a disclaimer, this is going to log you out of your iCloud account and your Apple ID anywhere on your Mac. So you're going to have to log in after, uh, I mean, you're going to have to sign into your Apple ID and all that after you restart your computer. So in the terminal window, you're going to want to just go ahead and copy and paste these uh, commands. Anytime you see the asterisk, that's not a command. It's just prompting you what you're going to need to do. So you're going to need to enter your Mac password after typing in this command. And then you're going to want to copy and paste this command in. That'll kill the iCloud helper so iCloud's not running in the background. You're going to want to type, copy and paste this one into two. That'll delete the um, mobile me accounts folder which houses your credentials and uh, allows you to reset that. And then you're going to just keep going and just copy and pasting all these commands. And then when you get to this last command, just copy and paste that in. You may or may not see any uh, any disclaimer saying that no matching process is found. If you don't see it, it's not a big deal. Once you're done with that, you're just going to come up to the uh, Apple logo here, restart your computer, but make sure this is unchecked. You don't want any windows to be open when you log back in. So once you sign in your Mac, you're going to go into those individual applications that you're having issues with and just sign in individually into those applications. And then it should take a little bit um, just because it needs to regenerate those folders that we deleted in the, in the beginning. And then at the very end, once you're done with all that, then you can go into the system preferences and sign in to your iCloud and Apple ID that way. But I would only do that after signing in to those individual applications you're having issues with. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, hopefully this worked for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.